Hello everybody, Skywarp33 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at The Projectionist. If you can't tell, I'm kind of still a little bit under the weather with my voice and stuff, but I figured I could at least record this video for you guys today. Now before we get into The Projectionist Showcase, let's get into this projector showcase. Alrighty guys, so right out of the way I just wanted to say that this video is not sponsored by Goody in any way. They sent me this projector for free to get my honest opinion um, on how it is and for me to do this quick little review of it. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time going into details and stuff. I will sort of show the specs and things like that. Yeah, let's just sort of jump into it, shall we? Alrighty, so this is the Goody G. 500 portable projector and I think overall it's a really nice projector. So what you get with this projector is you get a very detailed manual on how to properly set it up. You get your own HDMI cord which is generally a really nice quality cord. You get a AVI uh, adapter plug so that you can plug in anything from a VHS player to a old DVD player. And then you also get a really nice little remote. Now you might be confused on why it says it's a portable projector. Well, they actually give you a nice little bag that the projector can strap into and you can take it places. It's got enough pockets for all of the needed cords and stuff and is just like surprisingly a high quality bag. Alrighty, here's a quick look at the specifications on the side of the box. You can pause the video if you want to look in detail on this. Now one of the things that I found that was pretty neat was it actually has a tripod mount on the bottom. So if you already have your own tripod, you can actually mount this projector to it very firmly. On the side of the projector there are these two little dials. Pretty much all you gotta do is turn them and you can adjust the uh, direction and the focus of the projector. And they work really well. Now because it has HDMI, that means it can hook up to pretty much any gaming system and pretty much function just like a regular television, but much larger. This is the largest television we have in our house. This is the projector. Pretty much the whole wall. It's pretty great. Now another thing those epic gamers might be interested in is it actually does indeed work with my capture card, which is pretty cool. Now you might be wondering how the audio is for this. So if you look on the back here, it's got a large fan and a speaker. It can get quite loud, so this is it muted and this is it at 100%. And this is the chill music. It can get quite loud. Now, because this is a review, I did kind of find like one or two things that I personally think could have been a little bit better, but overall, the projector in practical use is like next to perfect. I personally think it is a really great projector for me. If I were to say anything negative about this projector, I would say that the power cord is just a little bit on the short side. You might need an extension cord to make it reach and have the projector be like at the right length away from the wall. Um, as you can see with my setup, uh, I have the projector right up there and the power cord comes down and it doesn't quite reach the floor so I just had to get a extension cord for it. Alright, so my overall thought of this projector is it's actually a really good deal and I would highly recommend it. Oh wait, I'm supposed to get back to the other review, aren't I? Kinda of like you just wanna keep playing Animal Crossing though. I mean like, it's pretty fun. Okay, I'll get back to the other review now. Huh. <laughs> now I just wanted to give a special thank you to the people over at Goody for this uh, projector. If you guys are interested in getting your own, there is a couple links in the description along with some coupon codes that they sent me. So if you guys do decide to pick up a projector, be sure to use the coupon codes to be able to save yourself a little bit of money. Now, on to the projectionist. So we just go from one projector to another. It gets, I guess this video is just like a multi-projector review or something. So yeah, the projectionist is a character from Bendy and the Ink Machine. I think he first shows up in like chapter three or four or something like that. But pretty much he's a creepy dude with a projector for his head. And he kind of walks around and he attacks you if he sees you. But yeah, so I think I did a pretty great job making this guy, so we're gonna try to look a little bit closer at the details on this. I think it looks pretty cool. 
There's the top. As you can kind of see, it's styled after one of those really old projectors you see all over in the game. Um, if you're confused, the reels would go here and here, but since this is the projectionist, they're kind of broken and open and he doesn't have the reels up there. So yeah, um, he does have a light in his eye. If I push right here, it lights up, and I think that just adds a lot. Personally, I really, really like the way it looks. Um, I'm definitely going to be using this dude in some form for some music video or skit or something. I just don't fully know what I'm going to use him for yet. But yeah, so, if you're confused on how this light works and why it's just the push button on the front, I'll show you. So for most of my bigger puppets, I use a, a light like this. You can get them at like a general store, pretty cheap, where it's like, push it and it lights up. This one obviously doesn't light up because it doesn't have any batteries in it. But what I did to make the projectionist was I actually took this mechanic from this and I trimmed it down <clears throat> and literally put the push button on the front and I kept it on the front so that it still works. Normally I would take the little button and move it down underneath so you'd have to like hit the button back here but I was like, you know, it'd be kind of cool if you just hit the front and it lights up. Crazy. Now if you are curious if I have to ever change the batteries and you're like, I don't see any sort of port on this guy, well, that's because it's a hidden port, silly. As you can see, magnets. Gotta love magnets. Magnets is where it's at. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, piece comes off. There's two magnets here and two magnets there, so it just kinda like so. I think it blends in pretty well. Um, it's a little bit of a thicker black line around the edge on this side, but I'm pretty sure none of you noticed it before I pointed it out. So yeah, as you can see on the inside there, if I can get this light to... Eh, there we go. As you can kind of see on the inside, because I can't, uh, we got the batteries right here, so I would just sort of grab hold of this. Eh, and I can change the batteries if I want to. And it just sort of comes all the way off and then slots back in like so. Um, and then this pole here is actually not attached. It is just sort of sitting up in a slot. So if I want to, I can do this. I can actually just remove it all together. And then I can pop this back on and it can sit flat like this. So reason I didn't glue the pole in there was so that I could actually possibly use this as, oh, it's flickering a little bit. I think I might have messed up the batteries, but that's fine. I'll fix it later. Um, the reason I did that was so that it can kind of sit flat and I can possibly use it as a prop um, for any Bendy and the Ink Machine related videos. I can use his head as a projector and just add the reels in post, or I could put the pole in the hole, <laughs> pretty much photoshop it out and make it look like his head is walking around on top of uh, my body being all sorts of creepy and stuff. Now another cool little feature if I wanted to is I can actually take the, uh, the pole that I use for his neck and it's actually big enough or technically small enough to just sort of fit inside so I don't really have to worry about losing it. So a little bit of secret storage so yeah I think it's pretty fun. Fixed it. Easy. I'm a genius. <laughs> so yeah, I like to kind of have um, like a multi-purpose kind of thing for most of my puppets if I'm able to. So this guy can double as a prop for a projector in the game or as the projectionist's head. So yeah, I'm pretty much gonna keep this button on because I kind of really like hitting the button. It's pretty fun. Pretty much just like a push button. So this front little bit actually wiggles a little bit because it's on a spring. So when I push it, it kind of moves. It's kind of hard to tell, but yeah, I think it looks really cool. Now let's do a couple comparisons with some of the other characters. Alrighty, so here's the projectionist, and here is my custom Boris head that I made. As you can see, the projectionist is a little bit bigger and a little bit different. I was gonna actually try to make him out of clay, but then I realized it might actually work better if I made him out of cardboard and foam, which is what I did. So that's why Boris looks more like an inky monster and this actually looks more like a projector. 
Um, like I said, if I ever use this dude in a video, I'm gonna crop out this pole here and put him on somebody's body and make it still look like he's the projectionist, because power of movie magic is pretty fun. Um, so, yeah, I think they definitely look really cool together. Bendy's getting a little dusty. <laughs> and now here he is with my very first clay puppet, which was Bendy. So, I made this Bendy puppet be able to open and close his mouth, but as you can kind of see, Bendy's a little bit smaller, Projectionist is a cardboard box, is what it is. Now for something not Bendy and the Ink Machine related, we got him compared with my Toy Bonnie puppet, which is my uh, newest character besides this one. So as you can see, this is like one of my regular puppets where its mouth can open and close. This guy doesn't really have any sort of mouth mechanic, but he does have the light, and yeah, I think you can kind of get a general idea of scale from all these other puppets I've been showing you guys. Alrighty guys, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe, and you can always become a channel member if you wanna just go the extra mile to help me out a little bit. Um, if you do, you get a custom badge and emojis in live streams. but other than that, that's the, the main reason to do so, is to pretty much just sort of help me out financially. So, it's greatly appreciated if you do, if not, feel free to like the video. Also, if you are indeed interested in getting your own goodie projector, uh, there are definitely links down below to Amazon and their website to uh, get your own with some discount codes, so I'd highly recommend it. Like I said, I really like how this projector is, and they sent it to me for free just getting my thoughts on it. And like, I was kind of honestly blown away because I wasn't actually sure if it was going to be a good projector or not, but it turned out being quite awesome actually. So, with that much being said guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless. Stay inside. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'm drying myself. It's hard. <laughs> and with that much being said, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now! In the hole.